And now we have a woman who needs no introduction, but from playing the lead role in Annie to being handpicked from a worldwide search to play the lead role in Miss Saigon, every monumental performance she's given has garnered awards and accolades throughout the entire world. She is indeed an artistic force to be reckoned with. She's a Broadway star, a recording star, and a bona fide Disney princess twice over. Now this lady has waved the flag and carried the torch for Filipino performers on the international stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Lea Salonga. So what can I say about Tita Celia? In her many years as a theater practitioner in so many disciplines, I mean, I have worked with her from when I was six years old, seven years old, um, in The King and I, she was on stage at being Lady Tiang. And she was also our costume designer. And so she was juggling very, very stressful things and doing them both so excellently. I remember putting on my costume as Princess Ying Yao Lak. I remember the first day I put that costume on, it was pink. There was gold thread on this sash. And I remember being so, feeling so beautiful and so pretty. And I think that was the very first time I ever put on a costume that was, in my little kid, you know, point of view, this resplendent, rich, um, absolutely gorgeous piece of clothing and it wasn't clothing it was a costume it made me feel like a princess um and i just remember always loving putting that on um we would work together uh for other shows and we finally became mother and daughter in the bad seat i was nine going on ten i remember turning ten during the run of the show and I just remember her always being so kind and lovely. Like she is just such a lovely, lovely woman that working with her, you know, it, it just left an impression of me that she was always so patient, maybe because she was a mother of so many kids, um, that being the mom of this one, uh, wasn't gonna be so, so much of a scary proposition for her. Um, I just remember the costumes she would make. I remember how amazing they would make me feel. And just being around her and her calmness, this, it's like she was always so placid. And she was an amazing, and she still is an amazing painter. And I've seen some of, the, I remember that there was a painting, I think of Tita Joy Virata, that she had done. I remember the first time I saw it, I think it was at a cast party. And so, and I pointed to it and I asked, who did that? I, they said, Tita Celia. Hopefully I'm getting that correct. Um, and the, it wasn't just that the likeness was so striking. It was also the spirit like she was able to capture the spirit of the person that she was creating a portrait of. It's a gift to be able to do that. Um, one last thing. Um, I remember before I headed off, there were two times I remember there were not exactly Miss Saigon themed parties, but I remember bits and pieces of these two parties that and there were they threw fabulous parties at their old house one party was seeing a bunch of us who were leaving for london and i remember she gave me a like a cosmetics case to take with me and use when i headed off to the uk and i remember her and tito doi taking the time to talk to us. Back then it was Vice President Tito Doy Laurel. And I just remember that the, the both of them, because it was their home and they had seen so many of us through Repertory Philippines' doors just literally growing up in front of their eyes, that, you know, it felt like being in 
family, home, and that you were being sent off by good friends and people that genuinely cared about you. Um, it never felt, you know, perfunctory. It never felt distant. Um, never mind that Tita Celia was the wife of the vice president of the Philippines. She took the time and made time to make all of us feel special. And that is, that's, that's something um, that despite her busy life, she knows how to make you feel seen. And yeah, I always felt seen by her. And then the other one was before I left for New York. I remember it was in their back garden. It was in a big garden. I remember Menchu Lauchenko singing and Tito Freddy sort of hosting. And I, I just remember, I, I just remember those two things. And I think the rest of the night was a blur. Um, but yeah, thanks Tita Celia just for, you know, making this little girl feel so extremely special with the very first costume you designed and made for her, uh, meaning me. And for always being so gracious whenever I would see you and for always being so kind. I mean, we can all sit here and talk about how talented you are, how gifted you are in the arts, with the costumes, the acting, the performing, you know, with being so active with rep and the painting and all of that. But you are such a wonderful human being behind all of it that of course you're going to be excellent with the arts because your humanity is so apparent that there is no other way for you to be and I think that might be the highest compliment I could ever pay to you. I love you very much and I'm grateful that you exist and that you've been such a huge part of my life. Amazing. Thank you so much, Leah. Thank you for sharing that. You know, it's true.